Okay, April 5th, 2016. I'm sitting here printing out a whole bunch of for sale ads on this house. And I'm coming across one that won't let me print it. And there's a very old picture of what the yard used to look like. That was a while ago because the blueberry bushes aren't here. And a lot of this has been ripped up already. Oops, sorry. So I had to do it again. As you can see, the bricks and everything all piled up over there after they tore everything apart, right? But as you go down, you'll see general information, right? It says here, there is enough room to accommodate for a large family. Okay. They're not saying that I'm a long-term tenant. They're saying that if you got a large family, it's good for you. That's what they're saying. And then they give you the neighborhood details, and they say, oops, sorry. They say that it's not being, um, what do you call it? Uh, growing slowly compared to other Surrey neighborhoods. I'm just being forced out of my home, people. Families looking to have children are attracted to this rural neighborhood. And of course, we know there's Andre's Playhouse, and, and the shed's going to be up, and there's going to be toys in there, and then there's that other little play thing that obviously if I move from here, I can't take it with me because I have nowhere to go. I'm not moving into another house because I've effectively been already outpriced with just the out-of-control housing market right now. Families looking to have children are attracted to this rural neighborhood as it's becoming a popular place to raise children. <coughs> Compared to other communities in Surrey, many in Wally communities in Punjabi, Punjab, Punjabi, Many in Wally communicate in Punjabi, Punjabi. Locals are primarily, primarily English, but the area's Chinese community adds diversity to the mix. Compared to other neighborhoods in Surrey, households in Wally earn more than the average household. Well, I don't know how that is because we have the highest poverty rate. And the poorest are out on the streets and or, such as myself, we're losing our homes. Among locals, getting around by car is common. It normally takes about 31 minutes to get to work. This is my house they're talking about, people. Basement is a full area within this unit is equipped with two fireplaces. There is enough room to accommodate for a large family. Okay, people, this is April 6, 2016. Obviously, I'm feeling pretty devastated right now, having panic attacks as usual. But in the real world, you still have to live, right? So, I don't want to be accused of whatever I'm being accused of. So I'm going to work on using up this wood today, and what I don't use, I'm putting it away. So that means we're going to get up and behind here. We're going to move this stuff. You see where the screen is? I'm going to take those rubber play mats over there, those ones, and I'm going to line them behind that wall as I wash that thing. There goes my screen. Let's see. As I wash that thing, and then I'm gonna staple that back up and that's just gonna provide a little more yeah. insulation. Quiet. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna work on the subfloor, right? Cause this stuff needs to be used up because you know, it's a problem. And then I'm gonna try and put that ramp in the way I want it. And if I can actually get this thing fixed up to some, some functioning degree, then I'm gonna put Elsie and Boots in there for now. I seen Boots too just scoot off from over there here? No, from over here. So he's still kicking around. Not as much. But anyway, he wasn't here. 
So as I'm working on that, I'm going to be coming in here and tidying up. Now, I know Jerry's been going around and, see, he got the big two-by-fours from there, the big tall ones. They're all gone. There's more in here. I, I tried to tell him there's more. Do you see? There's more right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and reorganize it and make it so that he can get it. And then I'm not going to worry too much about that, but I'm just going to tidy it up. And as you can see, when I cleared out the other stuff, this, this bucket is filling up with water. These things are for the arbors. Can't see now. The, the screen is black again. There we go. But I have to empty out that, right? Otherwise, it just gets putrid. And then I'll just move them in here. So I have to tidy this up a little bit. Put everything by size, right? It's it's half of what it used to be in there. Come this way, this way. Right? Come, come, come this way. There's a water jug. I she paid for that know one. It. She, I just saw something it has one. parts to it. Some feathers. Feathers? See? Oh, poor bird. Poor bird. Now that I can't see with this screen. The screen is no good no more. It's hardly right working. Okay. See? Over there. Yeah. All right, people. So that's what I'm going to do today as I tidy up this backyard, getting ready for April 10th, regardless of what's going on and what's been going on. Right? Okay, people. This is another Home Depot moment. Those pallets came from there. That's our subfloor. I just need a little something right there. I'm going to use these old pieces for now and whatever else I can find. And when it rains, I'm talking. It splatters. It gets wet in here. So I'll probably end up putting some plastic in there. On here? Whoa. Oh yeah, I don't know why they're listing this house as a five bedroom, because it's not. It's six. Three down, which are all full, my kids, and three up. The third room upstairs is and was Uncle John's room. Currently, I'm using it as a storage room and sorting stuff out, like my costumes and stuff like that. Right? As for this stuff, people, you know, people can try and make you ugly like them you know, make you go and destroy things and ruin things and be mean and evil and nasty and hurtful and spiteful and all that other stuff but at the end of the day you know you can't be something you're not right if it's not in your nature to be that way no matter how much you get hurt it's never going to happen. Okay, so I just gave him a quick spray. Thank you again, Home Depot. I washed those quickly, front and back, with a little scrub brush. Scrub that thing down because it's a good plastic for cover. All right, not sure what it says, but so now I'm going to start putting that foam behind there, and then after. Staple that on. Let's see your head's out of the picture, okay? Can you see me? Mm hmm Yeah? Okay, don't touch it because that screen doesn't work very well. Okay, people, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting up this stuff here. Mm hmm I know it seems kind of, like, pointless, right? Never mind washing it. Andre, right. please, can you move away from there so the camera doesn't fall again? Thank you. So, anyway, um... This kind of reminds me of Gateway Place when, uh, you know, working on the nonprofit, right? And having like 40 to 60 kids with no materials. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, nothing. Just no, no craft products, no paper, no crayons, no musical instruments, no water toys, no food. No snack. Oh, yeah. Andre, please. Okay? None of that stuff. I have nothing, people. All right? But I still went out there. And I... I guess I... did a lot of stuff with nothing. Mm hmm Right? And I think I felt. Yeah. 
I shopped a lot in thrift stores. And I'd buy tambourines and stuff like that. You know, you get a tambourine for 99 cents, 30 percent off, you get it for 60 cents. Sometimes I'd find them for 69 cents, 30 percent off, you know, I'd get a tambourine. I'm talking little children's tambourines, that kind of stuff, right? So needless to say, I have like 40 tambourines now after years and years and years and years of buying them, right? Or maybe finding them at Delta Spring Cleanup, it doesn't matter. Point is, you know, people, people take things for granted, right? And I think this is one of these situations where maybe my landlord has been taking me for granted all these years, right? Because I've done nothing to them to warrant this kind of uh, behavior, right? Other than want to stay in my home. Don't touch it, right? I mean, obviously, I've been working hard for years and years and years trying to get a handle on their yard so that I could have a life here with my family, use the fire pit, you know, that kind of stuff, plant gardens, have food to eat in times of, you know, when I have no money. Andre, can you not do that, please? Right? She'll see my house at or, this uh, point. Have fresh food, because garden, homegrown garden food is more nutritional, especially when you control the dirt. And you've seen me make a lot of dirt in this place, people. Right. But that's all being taken away from me. Right? For uh, somebody else's comfort. Because I'm just a commodity. My family was just a paycheck for somebody. Basically. Right. So, most people would throw this kind of stuff out. Right? But I'm not throwing it out. I didn't throw it out. I rescued it actually from a couple of places. One was a Home Depot garbage can, right? I guess you call that dumpster diving. Because when I used to go to Home Depot, they had a big canister dumpster, right? That was before they took it away because too many people were abusing it and coming in with their personal garbage and throwing their personal garbage in there. But I used to crawl up into it and go get the pallets that I wanted, right? Because lots of pallets went in there and pieces of wood and that kind of thing. Well, anyway, one time I found all these things, right? So I brought a whole stack full home. And we know it's gonna be good for insulation for a windbreaker for this, as well as uh, <coughs> that one wall for the greenhouse, right? Now I know I'm probably an idiot for doing this, being that, I, you know, Nobody wants me here, <laughs> right? They don't, they don't feel that I have a right to be here, right? I'm just somebody to play head games with, right? Terrorize and stalk, lie, and misinformation and But if you notice, they had me out in the yard for almost two and a half months working as this place was up for sale, and it's still up for sale. Advertising the stuff that I work on, inviting a family to move in into a five bedroom house when really it's six, right? That's why I moved into this place, people, because mm -mm. I had to. I had Joan with us, right? I couldn't, I couldn't just, uh, if it was just John and I and the kids, we would never have moved in. We would have moved into a three bedroom. We were, we came from a three bedroom. I'm talking, I'm talking. We came from a three bedroom from that fourplex grow up. <coughs> that was a three bedroom, but I'm talking. But it also had a little cubby hole where the hydro was going out all the time. It wasn't, it was connected. It was connected to the, um, the letter D. It was connected to the kitchen. It was like, a, it was, it was like, a, it was a room anyway, but it was Uncle John's room, so. It was the three bedroom that we turned into a four bedroom. Well, here it was the six bedroom. And it's still a six bedroom. 
So. I don't know why they don't want to advertise it as a six bedroom. <coughs> right? But it doesn't matter, I suppose. Andre, I don't want them to get money. Now it's already washed. So anyway. <coughs> I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, you know. I seem to have a YouTube viewer that is sensitive to my situation here. Telling me not to get sick over this crap, right? Trust me, no. people, I don't want to get sick over this. I've been getting sick over this. We did. Right? But I'm not a bad person, okay? And, you know, when I leave, when I leave, you know, I'll clean up after myself. This is, you can consider this cleaning up after yourself. If you're wondering why I'm doing it. Because I'm not going to throw these out. And since nobody will know what to do with them, right, or care to do anything with them, being that I found them in a garbage can initially, <laughs> I might as well use them, right, for what I planned on using them for, which was for something in the yard. And in this case, it happens to be the cat house, right? And uh, if I have time, I'll use the rest of them, whatever's left over, on that one wall in the greenhouse. And then this way, Sook and anybody else can't accuse me of hoarding garbage, right? Because that's basically what's happening here. It's psychological warfare. It's a form of terrorism. And yes, I am having panic attacks, but I guess this is how I deal with them. Because I don't take prescription drugs, people. I can't afford to. I'm too afraid to, because if I start doing that and I start shutting down, oh my God, then we're really in trouble. We're here, I just have to breathe myself through it like I was giving labor, you know, <sighs> that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, I, I tell myself, don't get mad, you know, don't get mad. That's, that's a big one I tell myself every day. So anyway, I'm going to show you here what I'm doing. Hold on. Can you see? Let's see. Right? So I'm going to do all the way, bottom, all up and through there. That tarp thing or whatever it is, it's a sign. It goes through this whole thing. So I'm going to cover this all up. All up in there. Probably cover that one up. Cover up that. And then I'm going to hang that thing in and then staple it. And that's it. Okay, go ahead. It's on? So Yeah, it's on, but the screen kind of just... Yeah, it's broken. Andre dropped it by accident, so... Whatever. <laughs> so anyway... So I'm almost done now. Right? Only my... Staple gun. Mama Lynn. Yeah. What? Did you do all this by yourself? Yep, pretty much. I hired a few guys along the way. But yeah, pretty much just Mama Lynn out here. Uh, because I wanted to have something nice in the yard, right? Well, I'm trying. I'd like to have a little, little hot dog roast and marshmallow roast before you go. So when I go out shopping, I'm gonna buy some hot dogs and some marshmallows, or your mommy can buy them. And, and maybe we can put them in the fire. And, yeah, in the fire pit right here, with a stick. Yeah. It's right here. You're gonna see it today. I'm gonna clear it out today. And then <laughs> Uh huh. And I'll bring out some guitars. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, we can sing some songs. I heard you singing some songs. On the piano? What are you were singing here? Right? I heard you singing. So we'll bring out the guitars. You know, you know how I know how to play piano. Yes, you do. I heard you play piano too. And so, you know how much there's I a backup love, plan. And you know how much I love guitars. And I'm good at guitars. Are you? Yeah, and I'm good at them. Oh, wow. I'm good at all instruments. Are you? And you're only four. Jingle bells. Yeah? And you're only four. And you're good. And my brother doesn't even know. Go see what your little brother's doing right now. Okay. I'm going to show him how to play piano. Oh, okay. Auntie Tisha's coming in in two seconds. So 
So that's what I'm doing, people. Now, you can see what it looked like when it was dirty and it was considered garbage. But now you can see what it's done. It's provided an insulated wall <laughs> for Mr. Lace's, Mr. Lace's cat hose. Okay. Okay, people. So why did Souk have me outside washing up that wood in the middle of freaking winter in the pouring rain, 40 degrees weather, Fahrenheit, and putting it everywhere else, hiding it all around the house, putting it away when he knew he was working with the realtor companies, more than one, and the landlord in terms of uh, getting the most dollar value on this house. Right? So was he just having me clean it up so that somebody else can move in and start using it themselves after they evicted me? After I cleaned it for them and put it all away? Is that what the story is? <laughs> kind of seems that way, doesn't it? Leave Mr. Lace's pen half finished so that whoever moves in can scoop up on the wood and just build in whatever it was that they wanted over what I've done. I'm just here to clean up after I've built the majority of it. Now it's just time to clean it up. Okay, so it's 4.30 in the afternoon. April 6, 2016. Obviously, all my time went on the back behind of that Mr. Mace's pen, but that's done now, right? Washed, put up, everything. Laying down the subfloor, picking through pieces of wood that belongs to me to finish things that I've been working on, people, right? No point in trying to go get boxes if I have nowhere to get there. Nowhere to, nowhere to, no, no way to go get boxes. Well, what am I going to start packing, people? You tell me what I'm going to start packing. Hmm? Need to clean up the yard first, right? And not just put things away for the next tenant. As people are accusing me of being a fuckhead. <laughs> 